God, here we are again at Burwood. We came yesterday, we had a wonderful day. We preached in these beautiful surrounds at Burwood Park and then we went down onto the corner of the National Bank and 39 people gave their heart to Jesus. 39 people were drawn by the Spirit of God. What a wonderful day. And we're expecting the same to happen today, that many people will come to a, a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. They will be partakers of the new covenant. So if there's a new covenant, what was wrong with the old covenant? Why did we have to have a new covenant? Well, the old covenant was given to the nation of Israel. 613 laws, as I understand it. And no man could keep all those laws. And it says in the book of James that if you break one of the laws, you break the whole law. So nobody could do it. Nobody could keep up the law. A lot of the Pharisees and the religious people try their hardest and put on all sorts of pretenses about being able to keep all the law. But it's impossible. You break one, you break them all. And Paul said in the epistles, he said that when the law came, sin became active. Without the law, sin was not recognized. So we, it's like a school teacher to show us where we live wrongly. The law is perfect, given by God, nothing wrong with the law. But it says in Hebrews that a better promise needed to be made, a better covenant. And it wasn't because the old covenant lacked anything it wasn't that it wasn't perfect or right in every way the fault laid with mankind who could not keep the law so god in his grace sent jesus christ to this earth and jesus and the last supper said this is the cup this is the new covenant in my blood jesus christ made the new covenant and it says in Hebrews that God made an oath to himself concerning this new covenant. He said, it says in the Bible, that there is no higher standard than God himself. He made an oath to himself. And right bang in the middle of it are those who receive the benefits, those today who are born of the Spirit of God who receive the benefits of the new covenant. So how can we, anybody and everybody, whosoever, the Bible says, how can we be partakers of the new covenant? Wasn't it given to the Jews? And this is true. The first Christians were Jews. They weren't Gentiles. They were Jews. Peter was a Jew. James was a Jew. John was a Jew. But God in his grace said, I will make the Gentiles partakers of this new covenant. I will graft them in. We have been engrafted in. What a wonderful thing that God has opened the way for anybody and everybody. We are not Jews, we are Gentiles, but God has made the way open for every single one of us. So what does it mean to be a partaker of the new covenant? Jesus came to this earth sinless, lived a sinless life, died on the cross. He was willing to be crucified for you and for me. We didn't deserve it, but he, in his love and his mercy and his grace and his obedience to the Father, he gave his very life for us. And he dealt with sin. This is the big, big thing that we need to understand. Jesus not only died for our sins, he died to sin. He dealt with sin. He took it to the grave. And when Jesus died, he rose again. Think about it. When the women went to the tomb to anoint the body of Jesus, they discovered that the stone had been rolled away. This heavy stone that would take many men to move it aside was rolled away. When they looked very brave, they said, let's look inside. They went inside 
and there, sitting, sitting on the grave area, was a, an angel. They said it was a young man, but we see him as an angel. And the angel said to Mary and the, the women, Are you looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified? Didn't say maybe he was crucified. He said he was crucified, but now he is risen. Isn't that a beautiful thing? He is risen. And the wonderful thing about Jesus Christ, that no other religion, no other beliefs can, or creeds can boast is, Jesus rose from the dead. He conquered death. He never dies again. Even those people in the Old Testament and those people who Jesus raised from the dead, they still died. They might have been raised from the dead, but they still grew old and died. Jesus never died.